a nightmare from the past. Before this day, Grey Sherwood, thee shall be tossed in the dunking and cast into the river, shouldst thee float. Thy guilt shall be proved, and thy allegiance be plain. My lords, my lords, please. And shouldst I sing to mine own doom, what then? Then thine innocence shall be proved. And what of mine own child who sleeps within? My lungs unsure. <laughs> summons foul weather, Praetor. Aye. We should make haste. Very well. Commence the trial. innocent. got into it. That's not okay. Jesus. Grace, he shocked you. Asshole prick. I'm out, okay? It's done. We're through. Yeah, I've heard that before. He doesn't have new houses, does he? No. I don't think so. Good for you for finally getting out and hearing your aunt's house is a blessing. Yeah. Great aunt. Moving into the country, you got your fellowship. It's all so exciting. I'm so jealous. Well, you just have to come visit. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and I found a contractor to refurbish the house. Cool. <laughs> Some ex-military guy. Young, hot. No, he's ancient. A retired Navy ex-seal, I think. 
It is Tidewater after all. Rambo the Renovator. <laughs> yeah, Rambo. <laughs> <laughs> You ever wonder where people are going? No. I do. I just assume they're all going nowhere in a hurry. True that. So, so is it a shithole? The house? No, I don't think so. Good. Shitholes are a lot of work. At work is money. Being a paramedic was money. Well, it was an adventure at least. Yeah. Well, for now you're in the renovation business until your ship blows over. So we need to make a good impression. No problem. Tell me about the owner. I think she's a scientist. She? A scientist? How old? I don't know. Young. She's an astrophysicist. Really? Sounds hot. Sam, I'll do the talking, okay? Sure thing, bud. Sure. Interesting property. Hey, is this the... Yep. Mr. Wood, I'm Bud Hayes. Grace is fine. Hi, Sam Dixon. Nice to meet you. It's a Grace. Like the history marker? Like Grace Sherwood, the Witch of Pungo? The same. Cool. I'm betting no one ever teased you growing up, right? Sam. Sorry. Shutting up now. Well, this is it. Was my great aunt's. Obviously, it's been built on over the years, and parts of it really need work. Bewitching. Looks like she's got good bones. Oh, she's solid. Come on. Roof? Yeah, leaks. I hate the wallpaper. You hate wallpaper? No. Strip it? Yep. You do faucets? Yep. You see the ceiling? Uh, scrape, replaster, refinish. You got it. Got it. On the list. Switches? Oh, that's me. I do all the electricity. Electrifying. You know, I'm a, also a paramedic. That's nice. See that? Looks precarious, right? Eh, we have a chainsaw. So, when can you start? We'll hit the hardware store first thing in the morning. Be up here by noon. Perfect. So, how does this work, money-wise and all? Uh, 400 a day. For both of you? Yeah, plus supplies. Of course. No markup. Wow. Hey, you're doing business with BS. Uh, that's BS, that's for Bud and Sam, not well, you know. Okay, anyway, done. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. Fantastic, guys. All right, tomorrow then. You have good evening, Mr. Sherwood. Grace, remember? Looks like a storm's coming. You know, they've been showing up at the end of each day threatening, but they never break. Well, you should count your blessings.
BS. I know, I know. Does your mouth have a filter? I don't have Asperger's. I didn't say it. Life can only get better. You sound happy. I am. I feel as if I belong here. Sounds like the house has good feng shui. Must be. <laughs> And the electricity's out. No electricity, no Wi-Fi. No Netflix, and you're happy? Then you must have wine. Guilty. Well, should I entertain you with gothic tales then? Perhaps one about your great auntie. Or the Congo witch. Give you the heebie-jeebies, make your skin crawl. No thanks. So, when do you think that you can come and visit? Depends. Is there a bar? It's a university town near a naval base. What do you think? Ah, uh, the lights just came back on. Spell's over, I guess. So much for procrastination. Back to unpacking for your girl. You are such a buzzkill. You know that? Call you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Good morning, gentlemen. I've got coffee if you're interested. I am. Oh, Bud lives on coffee. Me, I'm a diet soda kind of guy. Chronic, actually. I've got those too. This place is not good. Bed? Who's Beth? <sighs> Sorry. I thought I saw something. Sorry. Hey, 
Sam? What creeps you out? You wouldn't believe me. And before you ask, I'm not drinking on the job. Because I need this job, alright bud? Calm down. What did you see? Was it a woman? In the wall? Yeah. Was it her? This is your daughter? The one who drowned? I'm sorry, man. She looks like a really sweet girl. She's not what I saw. Only... It was a woman! I think? Only way I'm creepier. But there's no way it could have been. Not a person, right? In the wall like that? Because I'm a crazy paramedic on probation seeing shit? There is something about this place. Isn't there? You saw something too. Let's try to wrap this job up as quickly as possible. You cool with that? Yeah. How'd it go? Nothing out of the ordinary. Smash my frickin' finger though. You'll live? Probably. Just won't enjoy it. You guys made good progress today. Yeah. We'll pick up the rest of the materials on the way home tonight. Be back first thing in the morning. All right. Feel free to use the sink inside. You fixed it. No, I'm good here. So, bud, you were in the Navy. The tattoo. Oh uh, yeah, the frog man. Bud used to be a seal. I thought I recognized it. Being a Tidewater girl and all. Well, it was a while ago. Guess that's it for today. Hey, baby. I am loving the new digs. He's a handyman. It's a good gig, am I right? Is everything good here, Grace? Yeah. Thanks, bud. See you tomorrow. You can count on it. <sighs> Country folk. You gotta love them. See you tomorrow, bud.
little dick. Yep. temper gets. Can you do me a favor? Hmm. Take out the trash. The fish will stink by morning. Yeah. Yeah, sure. can keep the sticks. trying hard to keep my shit together. This is what you call keeping your shit together? Hey, let me ask you a question. Do I look depressed to you? Shit, I don't know, man. Isn't everyone? You know, you do tend to look a little grumpy. Thanks. I mean, like, all the time. Surely this isn't news. See that? That look right there. Grumpy. Or as me, I feign chipper. That way I limit the number of people I disappoint. Don't be so sure about that. Hey, look at that. Huh. 
Oh uh, yeah, the retro. That's a fun sounding word, isn't it? The retro. I don't know if we're gonna get much done if that cuts loose on us today. disappeared. Last night he took out the trash and he never came back. And the electricity is out, the phone is out, and and m m my car wouldn't start. Hold on. All right, we'll sort it out. My phone's out of service too. We'll take a look around. Chad's probably just exploring the property. Or maybe fell into the lake. <sighs> Guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Grace, I think you may have gotten really lucky. Still no cell service? Sam? No. You have a landline? Who still has a landline? I say we head into town. Tell the sheriff about your friend. Get some help. I can't believe all this is happening. Yeah. Weird. My fire company must be going apeshit with all the calls. But 
I'm sorry, is it just me, but wasn't there a farm over there? Somewhere? Shouldn't we be seeing the paper mill? I mean, like, down there? Through there? Somewhere? What the hell? Did you take a different road? Come on. Okay. Okay, okay, it's official. I'm freaking out. Where's the effing road? Not even the emergency broadcast signal? so juvenile. Seriously? Let's try the other direction. Hey, I just saw someone in the woods. Fine. This makes no sense. Up there, see them? More guys. Bud? Hey! Come on down, we want to talk to you. That was some storm, huh? You know what's happening? Bud, don't go up there, man. Bud, listen, this doesn't seem like a good idea right now. Something is really, really off. Bud, let's go back to the house, okay, please? Yeah. Everybody else is seeing this, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, back to the truck. Back to the house. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. It is the one she seeks! Back to the truck! This is crazy.
back inside. You know how to use that? What else you got? Anything else? Is this thing real? Yeah. But you need shot. And gunpowder. You mean this? Really? I get the blunderbuss? Wonderbus. See, you're the expert. Is it stale? How would I know? Well, anyway, it's got that choppy thingy. I've got a real fire axe. I found the charcoal, and these might be useful. There's no water. No shit. One problem solved. No other buildings, no telephone pole, no electrical towers. No roads. Not an airplane in the sky. How could it all have vanished? Hey, smoke, see it over there? Could be from a lightning strike or a campfire. With more crazies zombie apocalypse. We should check it out. I have to be on foot. Agreed. We'll set out in the morning. So, anyone else hungry? What did you see? Sorry. Just wanted to see if it actually worked. It does. 
I wonder if they fired him from the fire crew. Oh, come on. Sorry, I've never loaded a blunderbuss before. How expert are you at flintlocks, bud? Don't look at me like that. Well, at least they didn't blow up your hand, so congratulations. That's what I'm saying. So how do you transport a whole house? Maybe we didn't move. At least we didn't move in space. But rather, perhaps we moved in time. Time? Do that freak storm? Explain that, Astro Girl. Astro Psychological. Astrophysicist. I know, I'm just jerking her chain. Spooky entanglement. That's a real thing. The phrase was credited to Albert Einstein. Wait a minute. Didn't I see you on TV? Discovery Channel. Yes. About UFOs? No. With that bozo haired guy? <laughs> what a piece of work. All right. The theory goes something like this. Black holes come in all sizes. There's one at the center of our galaxy. It's immense. A monster that swallows space and time and keeps the Milky Way from flying apart. But there are also micro black holes. Singularities smaller than a speck of dust capable of distorting space-time. If one orbited our solar system and passed through the Earth, it could bend time. It could open a gate to a parallel dimension. Dr. Sheridan, open a gateway to where? The past, the future. Time doesn't need to be linear. We just experience it that way. A gate? One way? Not necessarily one way. Come on, I'll, I'll show you. See, I think that's one of two micro singularities. The, the storm is just an atmospheric byproduct. That one is moving off. And there. That's its binary companion, a second singularity moving in. So, what? We wait for that thing to hit us? Try to ride it back to our time? Just some crazy shit, Doc. We're already in crazy. You know, I've got a bottle of Jack Daniels inside. So what's up with this witch thing? Family tree? Yeah. Traces back 400 years. That's me, my mom, aunt. Follow, follow, follow it. Gray Sherwood. Bingo. Pongo. So she was the witch. She was ahead of her time. Misunderstood. She healed sick people with herbs. She was a midwife. Earthy, unchristian. And they drowned her for it. The governor of Virginia gave her a pardon just recently. No oh, shit? God's honest truth. Do you pray, bud? Oh, God, no. I wish so. You wish? Angel, deities, afterlife. Seems like delusional comfort. We can all use a little delusional comfort. Or spooky entanglements. Wow. 
can't make this stuff up. They're both witches. Okay, I'll bite. Grace and grace. Witchcraft, quantum mechanics. I mean, if both aren't magic, I don't know what is. I read A Brief History of Time. The Hawking book? Did you get it? Beyond the first few chapters? Hell no. Did you? <laughs> nope. Nobody did. Except for maybe brainiacs like her. I rest my case. Some job, huh? Why don't you get some sleep? I'll take the first watch.
Stop right there. The mistress will be pleased. <laughs> Thanks. Who are you? I am unimportant. Thou art unimportant. But the lady, the lady be everything. Her. Why her? What's going on here? The storm hath brought thee. Thee weareth her jewel. You art her way back. Way back? For who? The mistress. Grace Sherwood. I'm Grace Sherwood. Perhaps in name. But you are not. The witch of Pungo. No way. She is our mistress. We serve her and have for a very long time. Pungo? Like the history plaque? Like the woman they drowned a hundred years ago? Three hundred years ago. You know, I always wanted to win the lottery. Win something good. Something cool, like a car or money, and not win a shit show like this. Sam, shut up. You behold so very much like her. It's quite quaint, as she once was. For we loveth her. What is your name? I am Caleb. Caleb, what year is it? I'm not certain. I've been here a very long time. Year of our Lord, 1707? 08? You killed my brothers. Yeah, well, sorry, but they were trying to kill us. The lady shall not be pleased. Those gents were alive. Now lady will sendeth the dead. It just keeps getting better. How's the leg? It pains me. Come on, there's food upstairs. Mm. Oh, good soup. Tell me about your life here. We work. We tend the fields grow the food, mend the fort, 
tend to the mistress's needs. Tell me about her. No. Why not? She would not wish it. You mentioned a fort. How many are you? <laughs> More than thee. Have you experienced these storms before? Oh yes, they come like the seasons. You arrive on the first tempest, but if you miss the second one, this becomes your home. Forever. Polarization. Polarization? The singularity synchronizes matter. Everything that has ever happened, or will ever happen, exists all the time. Two planes of existence cannot occupy the same time. It's very unstable and potentially bad. Define bad. Like destruction of matter bad. Like we all go fusion bad? Poof? Yeah, something like that. If we miss the second storm, our matter will synchronize to this time, to this place, permanently. Now what? That would be the wood golem. This I gotta see. Watch him. Jesus! I didn't think it was possible to shit yourself to death. Looks like you came close. Actually, I was referring to you. But that storm is going to be on us in no time. Oh, shit! We can't leave her. No. We can't. If we're not back by the time that second storm hits. It's all live, baby. Half-assed and totally random.
Stop. Please stop. I need water. No stopping. I need rest. No rest. <clears throat> Raw hands. Wind ahead. Alert the mistress will be arriving with her salvation shortly. Come on! You, get up. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> he cannot. I will. Get up. Sorry! <laughs> I'd say we're on track. The hairs on the back of my neck concur. I get down there. This way, come on. of this damn place. Ah! <sighs> 
Is everybody okay? Gather up weapons, water, whatever you can. Do you know where we are? Sure, I'll just consult the GPS and map. Hmm. Sarcasm. You no, know, it is getting dark. And it's getting cold. We need to start looking for a place to hold up tonight. Guys? Okay, that's not creepy. Let's just keep going. Stop the FGs? Order, buddy. We don't want any trouble. Trouble? No. No trouble. I just want my heaven back. Heaven? W what does that mean? Cheese! Doth, doth thee have cheese? Cheese? Billy? Oh, yes! Lovely cheese. It, it, it pads us out for chilly winters. Actually, I do have cheese. Actually, I do have cheese. I really think we should keep going. Well, it is shelter. Just wait here and keep your eyes open. What?
You are the one. Really? That's the first for me? And you, you are the one. I know you are of her blood. She searches for thee. And you. You are the one. You are the bringer of fire. Oh, I have a gift for you. Black powder. Oh, don't get it too close to the fire, though. Or we will all leave this world in a flash. Can you help us get back to my house? Ah, the house Yon just came. Down by the valley. Blown in on the black winded like so many others before. Yes, that must be it. Sadly, she will not let thee leave. For in this realm, she controls all. You see, these are her eyes, and these are her ears. Okay, I'm seriously about to crap my pants. And this is her cauldron. Cometh to me, blood of my blood. Twas inevitable. You set us off! We're aging, you creepy shit! No! You don't understand! Her weapon is not sword, nor pistol. She uses thy right arm to fight thy left, and thy left eye to suspect thy right. And before you've known it, you'd have torn out your own eyes and ripped out your own heart. You were always within her grasp under her watchful eyes. I can help. Where is she? At her keep. I know the way. Take you to her, I will. Damn it, but we can't trust this guy. He looks like a potato in a shit casserole and he's already admitted to being a spy. I'm not sure we have a choice. <laughs> she has what she wants and is now distracted. And thee can wend unnoticed. Her ears are deaf. Her eyes are closed. Now is the time to strike. You can lead us to her. Oh, I. We are not the only ones oppressed here. Call someone? I! Are, are we gonna like them? These people you're calling. They're gonna help us. People? No, not people. Helpers! I! Helpers! And haters of her! Oh, for heaven's sake! Christ, it's putrid. Holy 
shit, these guys. I think they're gonna kill much for us. No. We did chop up one of their buddies and set him on fire. <laughs> Matters not! We are the damned and would rather die today than continue in this torment. You know I'm related to you. Of my name, of my blood. I, of course I know. I was once fair like you. What do you want with me? We are bound, you and I. Strangely entangled. For so long I have been fueled by rage and wrongs. All I wanted was to see the world burn. For vengeance was my bread, cruelty my delicious butter. You were pardoned, you know. It took 300 years, but you were pardoned. Pardoned? of being innocent. Well, I am not so innocent now! But none of yonder matters now. Soon it will all be over. She will be held high in the tower. There. Well, they certainly have the high ground advantage. But. Best storm's getting closer. Looks like it. Hey! We're here for our friend. Release her. We'll be on our way. Friend? And who would that be, these dram shits? <laughs> dram shits? 
I'm thinking that's worse than being just shit. God's holy trousers. Today's the day. Hey, cut the crap, you pricks! We want Grace Sherwood! Uh oh! Uh, which Grace Sherwood are they referring to, the grubby turds? They're calling us grubby. Let the witch know! I know. Now go back and kill them, you fools! Your rescuers are here. How gallant. Bethinks those gents wouldst rescue me as well. Well, looks like we're gonna have to do this the hard way. Cut him loose. Anon is the day, ye damn brothers! Attack! want to go home. We have no quarrel with you. When the second storm comes, a singularity will pass through time and space. I know all about the Tempest. I've seen it every hundred years. You know about the singularity? Curious word. You mean the dark finger of death with its crushing black heart? Oh yes. I... I... feel f faint. As you should. For so do I. Poison is most disagreeable. What? Poison? But you drank from the same cup. Yes. We are bound in death, you and I. And there is no need to pay the ferryman. We are almost done.
Are you the footsteps of doom? Or rescue? Enter the fool warrior, the old man and the failed father. Grace, Grace, wake up. We gotta move. Where the hell's the key? How painful do you want your death? I'm taking her with me. I'm not afraid of you like one of your pathetic followers. No. I can show you fear in a handful of dust. Shall I be cruel? It is not real. It is not real. Sam? I am no mere illusion. Shall I turn him inside out? You're a cruel, mean bitch.
best we could. We did our duty. We rescued a princess. And fixed the house. Damn right we did. We did good. Yep, we did good. It works. It works. The theory was right. We're freaking genius. Oh shit. I guess so. We made it? Where's Sam? Sam! Over here! Wow. Shit, I'm not dead. Amazing. Cool. You're not gonna die, buddy. We've gone way too far to give up now. Did you just call me buddy? Grayson. Put pressure here. Back here. I'm gonna call an ambulance. <laughs> oh god, he's calling my old fire company. Hey, uh, I need an ambulance. There's somebody here with a penetrating abdominal wound. What a bunch of misfits. I lost a lot of blood. Bill the Butcher's been on call since I've left. Now I'm really gonna die. Yeah, that's the address. Hey. Seeing as how we've literally been through hell and back, do you think I could take you out on a date? Not a chance. Wow. You're cooler than the witch. You have no idea. Well, I guess that's that. So, no more danger of freaky time storms? Not for another hundred years. You know, I just don't understand why she wanted you if she couldn't get back. You know, synchronization and all. Well, she thought she was magical. Wasn't she though? You don't believe that. I don't know. You slept through some freaky stuff. Things I never thought possible. The world's a weird place, filled with mysteries. We learn more every day. Yeah, I guess so. Well, goodbye then. I'll mail you the final payment. Okay, sure. Thanks for the work. Thanks for the rescue. We aim to please.
That's pretty brave talk for a 300-year-old witch smoking a pipe.